Hello, everyone, and welcome to Encore's music show coming up. Amando pop phenomenon, French singer Joyce Jonathan is changing the tune of the music market in China with the release of her upcoming greatest hits album in Mandarin. She's about to embark on a tour around Asia to perform songs of her first three records. The latest, A Place For Me, has landed on the French charts. Joyce Jonathan joins us in the studio. Joyce, thank you very much for being here with us. Welcome. Hello. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. You're a rising star on the French music scene. To understand why, let's take a look at some of your most popular songs. Now that brings us to here. Your latest album is called A Place For Me. Yes, exactly. A Place For Me. Tell us, um, what are you searching for? In fact, it's really important to, to find uh, his or her place in life. And there is a phrase by Oscar Wilde, be yourself, others are already taken. Uh, so it's like, even if you're not perfect, you have a lot of difference. It's better to be yourself and to have your difference uh, than to want to be another person. So um, it, it was the idea of the, the name of the, my album and also a song uh, of the album named Une Place Pour Moi uh, talks about uh, a guy uh, who didn't make uh, a place for me just before, he, uh, just uh, uh, beside him. You've taken the road less traveled and found a place for yourself mm? in China. Yeah, which is uh, which is quite interesting. You're going to be releasing your biggest songs in Mandarin. Tell me, what's the China connection? Um, the connection be begins uh, when I was uh, maybe 12 years. Uh, I am. Um, I, uh, it started at home with your parents. Yes, exactly. My parents are both speaking Mandarin because they always traveled in uh, in China for their works, and uh, I had chance to uh, to learn uh, Chinese when I was in high school. So when I released my first album in France, I had the opportunity to release also in Taiwan and in China. And when I heard that, I was oh, okay. Uh, I I I want to to release my album here and I, I want to sing in Chinese, in Mandarin. And you were lucky because there's a quota in China. There yes, exactly. There is only 10 international albums that they, they can be released by year. So uh, I had this chance and uh, I really want to, to, to sing in Chinese. So I tried and now I have a new album uh, who is upcoming in China. Uh, a whole album in, in Chinese. So we want to hear uh, you singing now in, uh, in, in Mandarin. But first, can you sing us uh, uh, Saira in French, yeah. a little snippet, and then the Mandarin language version? Yes, okay. So, Dis-moi que si tu es là, ce n'est pas juste pour mes jolis yeux. Dis-moi qu'au-delà de ça, il y a d'autres raisons qui te rendent heureux. Dis-moi si tu aimes bien nos paresses et nos matins d'amoureux. Dis-moi que c'est un début, mais que tu vois déjà la suite à deux. Oh, Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And if you want to hear the French language version, you can hear it on uh, on your second album. Uh, yes, of, of exactly. Sa Saira. Yes. Uh, and it's Mandarin, what a beautiful language. I love this so language. So beautiful coming out of your mouth especially. <laughs> Thank As you. a native French speaker, what were some of the challenges you encountered while learning, learning Mandarin? 
Um, the challenge when you're speaking is tones, because uh, in Chinese you have Uh, for the same word, you can say ma or ma, and it's not the same signification. So this is really hard to uh, to know tones and uh, uh, to have vocabulary. Uh, so it's better to sing than speaking, because when you're singing, you don't have different tones, you're just singing. There are a few Mando Pop collaborations in the vault. Uh, you're releasing uh, something with Darwin, an American Chinese singer who rose to fame for doing covers of Western songs like the Backstreet Boys. Have a listen. Oh. That's Darwin there in the middle now. The funny thing is, is you're working together with Darwin on a song, but you haven't actually seen each other or ever met. He recorded his part uh, in Taiwan. I recorded my part in France. And uh, we are going to meet for the first time uh, in uh, June in Taiwan and to sing for the first time together. So I'm really happy to work with him because he's a... Uh, I, I think he, he's a, a really sincere artist, and for me, this is the most important quality to have. Well, we'll have to keep an ear out for that. Let's come back to Paris now, where Benjamin Biolay heads up our Music News of the Week with Volver. The French singer and producer's second album with his former wife, singer Chiara Mastroianni. Volver is on the heels of last year's Palermo Hollywood, which won Biolay's Song Album of the Year at the French version of the Grammys, the Victoire de la Musique Awards. Volver is a big departure for Biolay. His latest single, Hyper Tranquille, sets the tone. It's a little bit urban, courtesy of some auto-tune magic in every bit as laid back as the title suggests. Have a listen. What do you think, Joyce? We were just talking, and this is yes. definitely a different move for Benjamin Biolay. Yes, different really sound, different. different look. What do you think? But I like it. Uh, I heard about uh, about the the new project of Benjamin Biolay just before uh, coming here, and in fact, I, I like be, I like it because I think uh, he likes he likes what he's doing, and uh, maybe it's really different. It's uh, uh, choking, but. Uh, we have to, to change and... Uh... Well, he's being true to himself while still at the core Benjamin Biolay. Snoop Dogg is also known for uh, being laid back and in his case, it's with the help of a little something green. The rapper recently released uh, the marijuana-themed lead single Mount Cushmore featuring Method Man, Red Man and Be Real. Snoop's 15th LP Never Left is out this week. He set the bar high, promising that the record will reflect every phase of his career and highlights the evolution of the dog. Here's a preview. Tick tack toe, take three in a row. Hey, little nigga, go and hit that door. I'm back with my niggas, earth, wind, no snow. And I got the fire on Mount Cushmo. So let it rain like the leaves of a cannabis plant. When I say it, I mean it as a matter of fact. Leaves by Snoop, may I take it? Hey, yo, own? this one nigga that rolled up that smoke. When I hit the weed spot, my pockets go broke. Latest from Snoop Dogg. Joyce, yeah. if you were to bring in a uh, hip hop verse on one of your songs, who would be your choice of rapper? Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> yes. Uh, classic there. <laughs> well, let's end on a different note. Yours, if you want it. The latest from American country music trio, The Rascal Flats. They're out with their 10th record, Back to Us. Are you a country fan, Joyce? Country music? Yes, yes, uh, I love it. It's uh, you want to be in desert of uh, America when you're you're listening country and and I, I love the first album of uh, Taylor Swift, uh, which is a country style.
Well, thank you very much for joining us, Joyce. Good thank luck you. in Asia. Thank Everyone, you. check out A Place for Me and connect with us online at france24.com and via social media too. We're going to leave you with the Rascal Flats. Take a look. And this wild flower from the neighbor's yard, a real slow dance in the moonlight, dark this hand in my pocket. Oh, baby, just call it, because it's yours if you want it.